Hey R&B squad, this is Heart of Ruth. If you've been with me since the beginning, you would know that I refer to my subscribers, the persons coming on this journey with me as my Ruths and Boazes. And if you're new, welcome. If you're not and you've been here from the very beginning, glory to God, thank you for still being here. Now I have a word today and there is, this is a word that I needed to put out since yesterday. However, I got sidetracked because of all the stuff that I had to do that was work-related and school-related. Sometimes we just have to drop everything and be about the Father's business. So I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to put this word out today since I should have put it out since yesterday. And this word is for more than one person. I'm feeling in my spirit that there are a lot of you who have been going through this. And this word is going to come as a relief to you. For those of you who it is for. And the Lord is saying to you today, my beloved child, my beautiful one, you have been oppressed by your enemies for some time. There have been people in your life who have been relentless in their pursuit of you, and they have not been pursuing you in a good way. They have been looking for your downfall. They have been setting traps for you. For some of you, this is revolving around your kingdom spouse. There are people that simply don't want to see you guys together. They have been putting stumbling blocks in your path so that you guys can't come together. For some of you, you can't seem to get your finances right, no matter what you do. Some of you can't get ahead and work. Some of you have issues with your family. My God, there are just so many things that people are struggling with right now, that the, the body of Christ is struggling with right now. But the Lord is saying to you today that he loves you and that he, he, he bent down and heard your cry and he is about to deliver you from your oppressors. Your freedom is here. Your freedom is here. You are no longer going to be oppressed. And his anger, his judgment is going to fall upon your enemies. And at the same time, while his anger is falling upon your enemies. You are going to be celebrating because his blessings are going to be flowing down upon you. Now where judgment on your enemies is concerned, there may be some spiritual death and there may be some physical death. Now I'm not saying that you need to go and rejoice over that. You are never supposed to rejoice over your enemy's downfall. As Christians, we're not supposed to do that. But let this be fair warning so that when it happens, you are not surprised. It doesn't take you by surprise. Because when the Lord tells me that he's coming from my enemies and I see what the Lord does, it terrifies me. And at the same time, I give glory to God because I know that it's only God that could have done that and nobody else. So remember that vengeance is his. He will repay. His anger and his judgment is going to be kindled against those who have been oppressing you, even as it was kindled against the Egyptians who kept the Israelites enslaved. The same way that plagues fell upon the Egyptians, one after the other until it led up to their death, is the same way that these plagues are now about to befall your oppressors. But when this is happening, the Lord has promised you that you are going to pass over, that you are going to pass over into the promised land and his judgment is not going to afflict you. Your protection from this coming judgment is sure. So whoever that is for, I hope that that brings a blessing to you. The Lord also spoke to me about your union. This can be for more than one of you as well. For the gentleman, the Lord is promising that he is going to bless you if he hasn't already with a beautiful, humble wife, someone who's truly a servant of God. And for the woman, he is about to bless you if he hasn't already with a man who knows how to provide and protect. He is going to be a gentle master of the household. He's going to make sure that your needs are met. He is going to love you the way Christ loves the church in the name of Jesus. The Lord is promising life and fertility where before there was stagnancy. 
He is promising peace where before there was confusion, where before there was pain. He's going to exchange your pain for peace. But your enemies are going to be stricken down. And that is going to happen quickly. The Lord also said something to me about Christmas Day. Christmas Day this year. I don't know who that is for. He did not elaborate much on it. But for someone, by Christmas Day this year, something is about to happen either on Christmas Day or by Christmas Day. Okay? So whoever that is for, if you've been praying for something revolving December this year, that is for you. You'll know. So glory to God. I hope that this word blesses somebody. I hope it reaches the ears of the persons that it's supposed to bless. And I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me.